Shamelia has antagonized me in so many ways. It's just started with a series of horrible, nasty, derogatory texts. Can't even tolerate your ass. And you like that telling me what an awful person I am, how I'm going to burn in hell, my grandchildren hate me. Cry, cry, cry. You sit and watch them suffer. You're sick, and when you're dead, you won't be missed. One time, Shamelia sent me a text telling me my dad died to get away from me, and that she wished I was dead like him. She knew that my dad had just passed away. It's just so utterly disrespectful. Well, calls to the police, vile text messages, physical altercations, all between grown women who claim to want the best for two young children they are fighting over. You have two domestic assault and battery charges against you. Mm -hmm. uh, incident report of uh, September 13, uh, 2017. Officers mm -hmm. were dispatched with fire department for a female shouting for help in the street. Male witness knocked out. Shamelia thinking it was a male beating a female. Shamelia told Leanne if she had to live in her car, then so did Leanne. Leanne tried to get out and Shamelia tried to hold her in the car. Could see three scratch marks on Leanne's neck. Scratches came when she grabbed Leanne as she struggled to get out of the car. Shamelia transported to hospital. She is charged with 265-13M, domestic assault and battery, intimate partner. So that's one occurrence, okay? Then assault and battery, family, household member arrest. This is October of 17. Reported witness stated she saw Shamelia yelling at Leanne, observed Shamelia throw black binder at Leanne, became agitated, grabbed Leanne around her throat with one hand and quickly released. Shamelia placed under arrest for assault and battery, placed in handcuffs, double locked, transported to police department. So you're saying that she should return these children to Leanne to a couple, not with to a couple, two, but to Leanne. I, I'm saying that you she tell should, me you're going to leave when the children I'm come. I'm willing. I am beyond willing. The only thing is, is first and foremost, I just want to address the the charges on me. Those charges were before I had an incident with my medical. Well, you have a prior history to that. I mean, you're, she, you're, that my prior your history was at 16. Police didn't start with just this. That was at 16. I'm now 30. Okay, the assault and battery that she looked up prior to even meeting me. Well, no, no, no. Was, Not when you were 16. When I was 16. This was in 2011. Oh, that was selling drugs. That has nothing to do. <laughs> that has nothing to do with physical abuse. What? That has nothing to do with physical but, abuse. I mean, all jokes aside, no, all no, jokes no. aside, you people were, can turn arrested, their life around. You were arrested for intimidating yeah. a witness. And I used to use no, drugs, but today things oh, are no, completely different. Haven't you contacted your mother and said, I'm scared to death of this woman? I have in the past, yes, absolutely. absolutely. I am not and, denying and that. And I was reacting to the fact that she would be completely stuck mentally, and I didn't realize the reason why she wasn't responding to my issues of being neglected was because her mother was constantly critical of her every time she stepped in the house. Listen, okay, to clarify, we have a history of abuse. And, you know, going back to her history, she has suffered abuse, too. And, and it, and but that it, it wasn't was a ploy. You meant what you said when you were writing your mother. In the moment, you meant In the it. moment, I, there, was, there oh, were times that I did feel as though I okay. wasn't safe. At the end of the day, we, we've had emails and texts, and, and you've already admitted that you cannot take care of these children, that it's not when something we that have, that. You we have. Record. We have records. Um, that we just sent says all the information to Dr. Phil. Why should you have these children back in your life? I should have the children back in my life because, because I friends, have, first, uh, first of all, because it's my God-given right. My children are of my, my highest priority. And now she's, so she's talking about the, the, the main subject matter that she said, the first opportunity we get to speak with you to get help. She wants to talk about something that happened when I was in active addiction. Were you to, addicted at Thanksgiving or Christmas? Not at all. But you didn't show up. I didn't show up. I, did, I, I didn't show up. I was, yeah, there was no offer for a ride either. It was a snowstorm. I wasn't able to come there. And, and I said it was absolutely killing me that I couldn't be with them. If, if you know anything about me at all, you know I'm about reunifying families, not right. fracturing right. families.